Okay, I'm going to show you guys the firebox today. I'm going to open this one up real quick and get a fire going. You can see how easily and quickly that uh, deploys. I've just got some uh, cheat grass and some different stuff that I've collected right around here. Some tinder. Let's see if I can get this going fairly quickly and easily. I'm going to start with that those dry needles. Now you can start this from the top or if you move the ash pan out of the way you can actually light it through the open fire grate. And that got going pretty easily there. And I'm just going to throw some little bit bigger sticks in there. Now one advantage the firebox does have over some of the other stoves, and it might seem even a little bit simplistic, the way it has these two high sides right here and then the two low sides. When people think, well, you know, you want this to be uh, opened up on all four sides so that the fire can move evenly, uh, but there's some advantages to this. If the wind's blowing, the two high sides will block that wind and then also it enables you to put the pot on and then you can actually feed it through the sides the openings in the sides But I'm gonna go ahead and get some sticks in here that are decent sized so we can get that cooking here And I'll just kind of feed that as I go along here. This is the firebox. This is a nice new shiny one. We'll show you. These fire sticks overlap the ash pan. And they're kind of the final piece that holds the whole thing all together. Those fire sticks go around the back side and they hold this uh, wind damper closed. I'll show you right here this wind damper. You can close that, and uh, if it were a windy situation, that would help out with things. Anyway, I'm going to pull these fire sticks out. And then the ash pan is very well attached. If you try to just pull that off, you're not going to be able to get it off. There's actually a, a mechanism that pops that off. You just open that up like a book a little bit further, and that pops off just like that. You open this up. The fire grate's hinged inside, push it down, and you're ready to go. There's no possible way to put this together wrong. So that sets up like that. The ash pan slides in. There's a little, she little shelf brackets in there that that ash pan sits on. So that's the fully deployed firebox. And then we have a few different features that you can use the fire sticks for if you have a really small pot like we could even be using it with this pot because it's pretty small but you just put those fire sticks on there like that and we probably can get away with just doing the one like that that just kind of gives you a more stable I'm actually going to put both of them on there so that's our small pot position or small pot adapter whatever you want to call that and I'm going to go ahead and stick some more wood in there. This is kind of smaller stuff. We'll let that get going there. And uh, I do also have some eco brick. This is a compressed sawdust recycled type of product. Uh, kind of a good way to use up all that sawdust that they produce in the mills. Anyways, I can hear that water in there making noise like it's going to start trying to boil here pretty soon. Um, anyway, let me show you some other positions. If you go to this outer position, that's where you'd want to put it if you had a fairly large pot. That allows the heat to get around to a larger diameter. And then I, uh, I showed you this earlier inadvertently. This is 
these are how you can pick the whole thing up when it's hot to reposition it you know if the wind changes direction or whatever else and you need to adjust that and we also have those adaptations on the uh, ash pan so you can dump that out as well now this ash pan you can see that's boiling already so I don't know how long that took that couldn't have been more than a couple minutes uh, but a wood fire really burns hot and it's it's a very effective way to cook uh, but we can also set this up in a few different other positions these fire sticks will go through these holes that are on the sides and we have two sets of three holes and they're offset from each other they're a half inch offset from each other and so you can set it up at any height you need whether you have a sterno can or a a alcohol stove whatever it may be and then you can also set these up here you can slide these through here and then this allows you to bring the ash pan and put it up on top and that allows you to put isbit tablets there and then that's the proper height to uh, to use isbit tablets you can also turn the ash pan upside down and slide it in right up against the fire grate which allows you to use uh, granular fuels or pelletized fuels like quick fire or uh, wood pellets and that way they don't fall through that fire grate and you can uh, and use those very effectively. Another advantage uh, that you have with this is is all the exterior surfaces when it's folded up are the, the they're they're the outside surfaces so they're not sooty. Uh, and the one surface that would be sooty is covered up by the wind damper and uh, so even that gets taken care of. I'm going to go ahead and just clip this all back together. You can hear how solid that is. The whole thing folds down. It's just over a quarter of an inch thick. Uh, about the size of a DVD case. Very small. And nice and flat. Easy to pack. Anyway, that's the firebox.